In this video, I will consider one numerical on Milman's theorem. Using Milman's theorem, find current IL through RL for the network shown below. This is the given circuit. We have to find current IL which is flows through the load resistance RL that is 10 ohm resistor using Milman's theorem. So to find the current using Milman's theorem, first we suppose to remove this load resistor from the circuit. Let me remove this RL. Once if you remove this RL, these two terminals will become open. So the circuit will looks like this. So in Milman's theorem, we have to calculate two parameters. That is one, one is Milman's voltage represented as Vm and Milman's resistance represented as Rm. So in this circuit, we can observe that V1 is equal to 10 volt. And let me assume this is R1. So R1 will be equal to 2 ohm and let me call this as V2 that is V2 equal to 20 volt and corresponding resistance R2 is 3 ohm here let this is V3 is 30 volt corresponding register I will call it as R3 which is equal to 4 ohm. So first let me calculate Vm. So Vm is calculated using the formula Milman's voltage is calculated using the formula V1 G1 plus V2 G2 plus V3 G3 divided by G1 plus G2 plus G3. So here G1, G2, G3 are reciprocal of R1, R2, R3. That is nothing but conductances. So I can write G1 is equal to 1 upon 2 which is equal to 0 0.5. So G2 is nothing but 1 by 3 which is 0 0.333 and G3 is nothing but 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25. Now let me substitute all the values in this equation. So I can write V1 is 10 into G1 is 0 0.5 plus V2 is 20 into G2 is 0 0.333 plus V3 is 30 into G3 is 0 0.25 whole divided by we have G1 plus G2 plus G3 that is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.333 plus 0 0.25 let me simplify this further that is Vm is equal to let me solve this numerator numerator it gives 19.16 divided by denominator it gives 1.08 so solving this is you will get it gives 17.68 volts so therefore Vm is equal to 17.68 volts so thus we calculated Vm. Now let's calculate Rm. So Rm that is Milman's resistance can be calculated as 1 upon G1 plus G2 plus G3. That is equal to 1 upon. So already here we have G1 plus G2 plus G3. That is nothing but 1.08. So it will be 1.08. So 1 upon 1.08. it gives 0 0.925 ohm so now we have to connect vm and rm in series so that this is vm should be connected in series with rm so vm value is already calculated that is 17.68 and rm is 0 0.925 so this register that is the register 10 ohm should be connected in series with this circuit. So this is 10 ohm. Now let me calculate current through this which is nothing but IL. So therefore I can write IL will be equal to voltage 17.68 divided by these two are in series that is 0 0.925 plus 10. Therefore, IL will be equal to, it gives 1.61 
8 amps. So this is the load current IL which is calculated using Milman's theorem. Thank you for watching.